हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियोज एंड इन नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीडियोज यू विल बी लर्निंग ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट एन एप्लीकेशन विच कैन बी एन आई ओ एस एप्लीकेशन विच कैन बी एन एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन और इट कैन बी एनी डेस्क टॉप एप्लीकेशन यू विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट दैट थ्रू की through the framework which is uh, free and open source so we will be using that and to demonstrate that part in my previous video i have already shown you a demo where i was demonstrating like how you can create your application and how it will look like once you will install it on your smartphone so this is all that we have covered and now we will start with the introduction part and after that we will see everything from scratch like how you can create your own application and you can install it on your mobile phone so this is all that we will be covering now let's start further and let's understand what exactly we will be covering in the today's videos and in our next few videos so let's see that so this is a short precap for that so firstly you will see like what is python kiwi and python kiwi life cycle python kiwi installation creating your first application understanding the widgets and other ui elements which can be used to uh, create your application more attractive and more useful and after that what are the layouts and we'll also see like what are the different layouts available and how you can do the programming for that so we'll see everything for that and after that when we will have our application ready with us what we will do we will create a final apk product for that or you can say you will create a final apk application that you can install on your system so this is all that we will be covering now let's start with the first one which is python kiwi right so let's see that so what is python kiwi so python kiwi is generally an open source python framework that allows us to develop cross platform application so what does that mean actually it means kiwi is not only applicable up to the mobile application you can create your own application for your desktop as well so this can be used for both the purposes whether you want to create an application for your desktop whether you want to create it for ios whether you want to create it for your android application or anything so this is the beauty of using python kiwi this is completely free this is completely open source so you can use it anywhere you can learn everything from scratch right so this is all about that so kiwi is developed such that it is fast encourage reusability of code easy development and deployment of application so that means you can easily create an application also you can deploy it very easily there is no hectic part in that once you will develop an application you can very easily install it onto your device whether that device is a desktop whether that device is your smartphone so you will get a final one apk file or one extension file whatever it is you will be able to install it too very easily so that is the beauty of using that and python kiwi also provides us the support for various types of input feeds which means not only you can use the keyboard for that you can use the keyboard you can use the mouse you can use multi touch even you can use joystick there are multiple other things which you can use with kiwi to create your application more interactive more uh, usable right so this is all about that and your kiwi can also run on linux windows os x android ios raspberry pi so there are different operating system which you can use to run kiwi right so this is all about the python kiwi i hope you have got the proper understanding for that and i hope you have got the basic introduction for about that and now you know like what exactly kiwi is and how useful kiwi is for you whether you want to do it for your project whether you want to do it for your business purpose so wherever you want to use it you can use it because that's very easy and that's very uh, interesting right so this is all about that now let's move to the next thing so python kiwi life cycle now suppose you have your program ready with you and you want to see that what output your code will give to you so in that case what you have to do is you must run a function and that function name is run so unless you will run this function you won't be able to see any output on your output window and the output that you will see will be created or let's say that will be shown on a window that will be created with respect to this run function only and on the run function there must be different widgets 
and all those widgets that where it should be placed or what is the connection between different widgets and everything that will be taken care with respect to the build function you can see the next function which is the build function so this will take care of all the widgets by the placement of it while the alignment arrangement and everything so this will take care of all those things and after that there is another function which is on start function that will be run just before your application starts so that at least your application is running and then further you can see the application in action so this is all that we will be doing in here so once the on start method is running and after that your application is running there are three different methods that you can use to see the changes in the application that you want to change on your own or let's say with the commands that you will set in here so there are three different function which are like on resume on pause on stop on stop will be used when your application is already stopped or let's say your application is already terminated then only you will be able to use that function similarly there is on pause on pause will be used when your application is already paused and you want to restart it so this is how you can use this application and the on resume method is something like that only right so this is all about the life cycle of python kiwi and i hope now you have got the understanding for it and now after that what you will see like how exactly we will create that and how exactly uh, these steps are taking place in action while you will run your application so this is all that we will be saying in here right now let's uh, move to the next slide so python kiwi installation here i will show you like how you can install python kiwi so that you can start working with the programs and how you can start making your own application so this is all that we will see now right now as for the different operating system we must have these three different things installed on our system the first thing is python software so you must have python installed on your system similarly kiwi i will show you like how you can install that similarly pycharm in my case i am using it just because i want to use the pycharm as my editor but if you want to go for something else like the visual studio anaconda or the normal editor so that's totally up to you like whether you want to use it or not but you must have that installed on your system so that you can do the uh, programming stuff to see the output on that but in my case i am going to use pycharm so i will uh, install it on my system and i already have it installed on my system so i will directly start with that and for that you can see there are three different steps that you have to do for the setup of your kiwi right so firstly you need to create a virtual environment virtual environment can be created uh, with anything like whether with a virtual environment whether with the conda environment or whether with the normal environment in my case i will be creating it through the virtual environment and i will show you like how you can install that part right now let's see how do we install kiwi on our system in a virtual environment right so for that let me first open pycharm all right so you can see i have my project ready uh, with me right and in this you can see i already have a virtual environment with me right but if in case you don't want to use the virtual environment with this or let's say you want to create your new virtual environment and then let me show you like how you can do that part so first let's see uh, that this is a virtual environment this is already activated but uh, let's deactivate that so for deactivating i can simply write deactivate and i will deactivate it right similarly if you are uh, using a new virtual environment and right now we, you are doing it for the first time and that time maybe you won't have uh, the virtual environment installed so for that you simply have to do like pip3 install virtual environment virtual env in short and uh, you have to install it so once you will have this installed on your system then you can create your uh, own virtual environment with uh, virtual env right so right now you can see it is telling me like the version python 3.5 is deprecated right so i can't use that one like in my case i already have it so i don't have to install it again but that's okay uh, let me show you how you can create your virtual environment but in your case you have to do it like this only right the only difference is that uh, you must have a different environment or let's say you must have a different python version for it right so that you can at least uh, work properly but that's okay let me show you how to create a virtual environment manually so for that just simply type virtual env hyphen p and specify the python version that you want to use so let's say in my case i'm going to use python 3.8 right 
and just write the virtual environment name so let's say i'm giving it a name as env right so let's see okay let's leave it now and press enter so you can see it has created a virtual environment for me right so this is a virtual environment now you have to activate it so based on your operating system whatever you are using you have to activate it and in my case i'm using ubuntu so i will uh, activate it like this like source venv slash bin slash activate so this is how i'm going to do it on my system but if you are using windows in that case what you have to do is you have to do it like this like dot slash venv slash script here instead of bin you have to write scripts because uh, in windows case you will be having this script directory inside your virtual environment directory so that is the reason you have to activate it like that but that's okay in my case i will not uh, type it like this right in my case i have to do it like this right and activate it so you can see the environment is activated now the next step is the first step is to create the environment second step is to activate it and third step is to install it so to install that you can simply type pip install kiwi simply and press enter and wait for it to finish because it will take a bit time so you can see it is almost done okay so it's done and also it is saying that please upgrade the version of pip and also it is telling you the command so you can uh, do it like this right so this is how we have installed kiwi and now we can verify that whether we are able to uh, call kiwi or not so for that let me show you how you can do it let's say open python and this is python 3.8.6 the version which i am using right now and here simply type import kiwi so you can see you didn't get any error that means the kiwi is installed successfully so kiwi is installed on our system and the next step is to just see like how you can create your first application right so let's go to the slides and after that now you have to create your first application and let me show you how you can create your first application for that just go back to the python right and in here what you have to do is you have to create a new script you can directly create a new script by simply going to new and python just give it a name as let's say main.py that's up to you what name you want to assign but right now i'm giving the name as like main.py right press enter so you can see main py i have given over here and now just to show you like how you can create your own application through kiwi so for that <clears throat> just go in here and also just simply type from kiwi dot okay uh, right now it is not uh, considering this uh, that kiwi is installed over here just because i have changed the virtual environment which i am using in here so for that i have to activate that let me just do it quickly all right so now we can go ahead and now we can start writing the code in here and this time it will understand that the kiwi is there right so for that uh, let's do one let's start from here at least you will understand like what exactly we are doing now so let's say i'm calling a demo app and within brackets you have to inherit it with the app and that app will be coming from the kiwi so where it is so just type from kiwi dot app import app so with this you have to inherit it and after that you will be able to uh, run your application and finally you will get a window where you will see all your widgets right so this is what exactly we are doing and now just type def just create a build method right will self and in here just return and what exactly i will return i will return a simple message and that message will be displayed on a label right so i will be using a label so right now you can see i don't have a label over here so that means i have to call that label right and that will be called from kiwi itself 
so you are having two option right now just because i am using pie chart so i don't have to remember everything i can simply take my cursor over here and it will show me like import this name i will click over here and it will show you the option like from where you want to call it i want to call it from kiwi so i will be calling it from like kiwi dot uix label and this one so you can see this one and when you will click you will see it will automatically add it for you so this is why i prefer using pycharms that you don't have to remember everything now so this is very good so this is what exactly i'm doing and in here just mention a message just mention a simple message that you want to show let's say uh, let's say let's say something else welcome to innovate yourself right so this is a simple message that i want to display on my application that i'm creating right now right so this is a small thing which i have done and uh, with this it will be able to display a message and that message will be welcome to innovate yourself right but as i said in the previous slide that your application will not be called unless you will call the run method all right so for that let's create an object for this let's say demo equal to demo app open the brackets right press enter and now finally run the run method and this is done so with this your first application will be called so let me just run this just run it can you see my application is running so firstly you are able to create your first program with which you can see when you have uh, called this run method it is creating a new window for you and on that window you are getting your widgets and that widgets are being taken care with respect to that build method that i have already explained you over there and similarly your start application and everything is called so this is how you can create your first application and this is the complete thing this complete window is having a layout and on that layout you're having different widgets that you can set anywhere whether you want to set it on corners whether you want to set it on the center whether you want to set it anywhere right so this is all about that and now i think everything is clear to you whatever i've explained you today but still if you're facing any difficulties in the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and rest of the things i will cover in the next video so stay tuned to our channel so that you can also see like how you can create your final application that you will be able to run on your mobile phone or let's say on your smartphone whichever you're using so if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos for our channel and you can also press the bell icon if you want to get the notification whenever we will upload a new video so till then bye bye and happy learning